Welcome back to another episode, guys. So this week, it's a special one. We're out at Lake's entrance, chasing Big Flathead on soft plastics with Jason from On The Edge Lures. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite cuppa, and I hope you enjoy the footage. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Just spooked one. Just spooked one. Where'd you go? Which way? That way. Yep, just here. I saw him take off. How big? Good size. Yeah? Yeah, it's easy 50. Oh. Dusky flathead love to bury themselves in the sand in order to ambush little bait fish and other food morsels that happen to swim by their face. However, because of their dark coloration, they tend to blend in more with areas like rubble and weed. So whether you're land-based or whether you're fishing from a boat, Try to find areas with broken sand and rubble or weed patches and you're going to find the flathead. Mm. I'm chasing a little bait fish. There we go. Oh, that's a Finally, onto one. A few head shakes. What have we got here? Yeah, it's a flooded. I'm pretty sure it would be. I can see a bit of colour there, but I just can't tell. Good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good flathead. Holy moly. That's a good fish. You want your staple or go? No, 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 just a staple. Oh, that's a good flathead. That's what we've been chasing. Yep. That is a cracker of a flathead. Oh, look at the size of him. That could be 70. He's a, he, he's a, he's a good flatty. Oh, might have to, mate. I think the 65 may not be long enough for him. Oh, oh look at him. No, oh, he's not done yet. Oh, I think he swallowed that bloody lure down too, possibly. Shaking his head. No, keep your head down. Might be, Come might be 60 front, maybe. Yep. Right. Now he's hooked perfectly in that top lip by the look of it. That's a good flathead that. Maybe not 70, but I reckon he's gonna make that 60 mark. Oh, yes! Mate, thank you. That is a cracker. And that was on the old faithful Z-Man Slim Swims, three inch in the watermelon red. That is a beautiful big flathead, that. Coming in around that sort of 64, 65 centimeter mark. All right, guys, that is a beautiful big flathead, that 64, 65 centimeters. I'm super happy. So we're going to get her back. Just give her a bit of a swim first. There we go guys, beautiful big flathead. Uh, you know, that's what fishing out this side of, uh, of Victoria is all about. Beautiful big duskies. 
here around Lakes Entrance and around the Painesville sort of area. So I'm super happy about that. We've been trying for a while, we'd spooked a whole bunch of fish. So to finally actually get one, I am incredibly happy about that. The day's not over, we're gonna keep fishing. Hopefully we can find a bigger one. Try and put up a bit of puff of sand every time it touches down. Yep, yep. There's another one. I don't think it's as big. Oh, good head shake, so. Yeah, it's, it's another one. Another little one. Yeah, smaller one. That's an eater. Good eating size, that one. Yeah, another flathead. Oh. Just watch my feet. I don't want to step on your bloody rods and break them. Yeah, beautiful. Clean water. There we go, another flathead. That is a nice fish, that. Do you need another one for a feed, mate? No, I've got the orders again this morning. Have you got the orders? Well, we'll make sure she's not over. I don't think she is. Well, there is another beautiful flathead there. A 49 centimetre specimen. And we've had specific orders from Jason's wife that she'd like some more flathead because the flathead she had last night was absolutely beautiful. So, really seeing this one straight into the live tank. Come home. Beautiful. All right guys, so here's a good tip. So we're currently in about four to five foot of water and it's really, really clear. And if you look into the water, what you'll see is like a teardrop shaped depression in the sand. That's actually an area where a flathead's been lying. So if you're sort of motoring around and the water's clear and you know the sun's up and you can see down into the water very clearly, you'll actually see the actual lies where the flathead have been. If you're in a tidal area, when the tide comes out, low tide and exposes the sand flats, you can actually walk around and see them if you're land-based but we're in the boat and we're seeing heaps of lies where we are today. So definite indicator that there's some good flathead around. There's a little gutter through here. Mm. Yeah, little four foot, four foot one. Yep, yep, yep. Just there. Just there. <laughs> I think she, I was about to say, I don't think she's that big, but Oh, oh no. no! Oh bugger. Bugger, that was a good one too. Oh man. Something to note about these big dusky flathead is they're a little bit more lazier than the fish that we tend to find around Melbourne itself. The fish around Melbourne will happily chase the lure down even from the bottom all the way up to the surface in water as deep as 10 metres. Whereas with duskies, you've really got to get it right in front of their face for them to hit it. Ooh. Is that a bite? Oh, that's a good one, mate. Oh, that's a really good one, mate. This could be... Oh, it was a bite. 100% it was a bite. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's a good one, mate. That's a good size croc. Oh, that's a good fish. Big head shakes. Shake her head, mate. It's like a big mulloway. 
Oh, look at her in the water. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, that's that's gorgeous, mate. Look at this, mm, the coloration. Oh, that's a beautiful big mama. Oh, shake your head, big girl. Yes, that could be bigger than yesterday's. Oh, 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 don't let it get out. <laughs> Look at the size of the head on her. Whoa, I am super happy about that. There is a beautiful flathead. She's 65 as well. She just bent herself on the mat. There's a cracker. I'm incredibly happy about that. So we'll get her back. Time to get this big, beautiful female back. And she's ready. She's full of beans. Let's give her a bit more of a swim here, get some water through her gills. Off she goes. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, the salts a little bit. Straight down to the bottom. That is cool. And look at it just sit there blending in. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. That one yesterday, actually looking at that now, that one yep. yesterday I told her it swam off. Yep. Than that. Jeez, yeah. Look at it just sitting there. It's just sitting there on yeah. the bottom. That's what I mean. They go to the bottom, they salt for a bit. Yep. Ah, mate, thank you. Right on, buddy. Right on. I just released that beautiful big flathead, and Jason had wasted no time finding another fish. I got my leader tangled up here. Yep, I'm on. Oh, you're on? Yep. Flatty? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I reckon that's a flatty. Small one. One for the wife. For the head shake. She hops and smashed it. You might wake up here next to the boat. They, they do that quite often. Oh, he's a good one. It's one for the wife. Yeah. No, we'll let this one go. We'll get another one later on. I'll get him under the net for you. Yeah, he's only a little one. Oh, he's, he's a good size. No, he's a keeper size, but yeah, no. Oh. Well done, mate. We'll out. Lure out just like that. Finally got one. <laughs> there we go, mate. So, well done. Yeah. Finally got one of these floodies here. Took a little bit, but um, yeah. Once again, it's on a plastic. They're not taking hard waves or anything like that. So um, yeah, just come all on soft plastic. So on three inch. So yeah, we'll just keep at it and see if we can get a bigger one. So definitely, there are a lot more bigger ones than that than here, as you can see. Um, and a bit more bigger ones than that. Um, So, yeah, there. Get him back, eh? Yeah, we'll get him back. Yep. Pretty keen, he's small, so. Uh, Not such a good release. But... And it's interesting how like you'll find them in pairs as well. Yes, correct. You'll have a big female, then you have a couple of small males around it. So, yeah. Good lesson there. If you get onto one, keep casting that keep same casting general area. area. Yep. yep. And you'll get. You get you get the smaller ones, or if you get a small one, there'll be a bigger female in the area as well. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Jason's on. All good fish. Put my hat back on my head and we'll just watch the action. Good head shakes. This is a big mama, mate. Oh, yeah. We'll get that net ready for you. Oh, beautiful big dusky, bro. Oh, look at the size of her. She's a beautiful big female, that. You see her going along the bottom. Oh, she takes off. Oh, 
That reel sounds good, mate. <laughs> Plenty of power. Mm. Big mama. Yep. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. Oh, good head shakes on it too. Good angry head shakes, that's what you want. Yeah. Just keep it tight. Yep. There's no mind when she lets you do it. There's no rush. No. Just just play the fish out, let the reel drag. You just let the rod and the reel do the work. Yep. They do all the work and they'll tire her out. And that is a beautiful big dusky mate. I don't know how big it is. Oh no, nah, she's a good fish mate. I've seen her already. She's a good size fish. No, nah, mate, she's a cracker. Yeah. Yeah, look at it, look at her. I don't think it'd be bigger than 60. Oh, I reckon she might be, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon she might be. Yeah. She looks like a big, healthy fish. Giving up, that's for sure. No, nah, just trying to get back down the bottom. Oh, look, look at the size of the fins, the pectoral fins on the side. She's a big fish, mate. She's a very big fish. I don't know where that lure is. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure she's lip hooked. I'm pretty sure I could see it hanging out of her lip. Yeah, yeah, I can see it just oh, yeah. The, yeah, I can see the jig head. Yeah, right so she's corner. right in the corner, mate. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully, my knot hole. <laughs> she doesn't want to give up. Oh, look at those head shakes. She wants to stay on the bottom. And she don't want to come up. It's got to be patient. I mean, there does come a point where you do need to put a little bit of hurt on a big fish like this because if you let them play themselves out too much, they can exhaust themselves and they may not release that well. So, you know, you obviously don't want to be sitting here for half an hour playing her, but you've got to be patient with the light gear because yeah. at the end of the day, you'll end up popping them off if you're not. But this is what you fish for too, is moments like this and you don't want to rush a blood and just... And she might be almost ready, mate. I don't want to head out of the water. Oh, that's a good one, mate. That is a very good fish. There we go. Yeah, we got her. Oh, yeah, that's a 60, mate. 60? That's easy 60, that. Well awesome, done, mate. mate. Thanks very much. Well done. That's what we've been uh, searching for. Awesome. Whew, worked out a bit of sweat. Yeah, mate. Was it from the sun or from the fish? Maybe a bit of both. Bit of both. Yeah. There you go. Always support the belly of these big girls. Look at that. Beautiful big Beautiful. flathead, mate. Put her on the lie detector and see where she goes. I reckon she's going to go 60. Probably right around that 60 mark, I reckon. There you go, 64. 64. There we go. Told you, mate, 60. Yeah, beautiful. That is a beautiful big dusky flathead. Beautiful big fish. Slippery. Just always give him a swim. Wait. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Ah, oh, there she goes. Ha <laughs> ha. Just had to get her bearings, mate, and then once she got her bearings, she was off like a shot. Right. Slippery. Shoot the last bit. I reckon that uh, when you're ready, it deserves another fist bump, mate. That's a beautiful big flathead. Yeah. Beautiful, mate. Thanks. Very well much. done, mate. Yeah. So it is 
there, Slim Swim, three inch, watermelon red. Yeah, we're both using that same one today. And a lot of people tell you you've got to use you know, big plastics for big fish, but just goes to show that elephants leap peanuts. The biggest flathead I've ever seen ate a two inch prawn. So big baits do catch big, uh, big fish, but yep. small baits catch all fish. But always too, after you've hooked a big flatty, always check your leader. Also for um, a bit of scuffing in that. How's that one looking? It's a tiny little bit there, so you cut it off and retie it because it ain't worth it. It'll snap just like that. You could probably ping it off right there, right now. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, so that's it for this episode, guys, and I hope you learned a few things about chasing this iconic Australian species. If you enjoyed this episode, please flick us a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. I could have...